Hello all and welcome to today's episode. I'm just ran to the nether to grab some ne nether brick as I needed to carry on with my beehive structure which I will show in a moment. And I'm going to work on s some more of those bees and I might take a look at tree breeding as well today as I've got a few trees to uh, analyse, which I've noticed that cross-breeded using the grafter and so on. So let me just grab some more bricks now. And let's run back to the overworld. Okay, so what have I been working on? Well, I've been working on my beehive. Well, there's my going to be my bee house, and I'm just thinking of a design. And right now, I've just got to put some netherrack along the top. And the idea is the bottom level will be where all the machines and sorting for the bees will take place. And up top, this is just a temporary bridge for now, as I wanted to get some of this grass up top. And up top, we will have all the beehives. And I just added this for decoration. But eventually all this grass will grow up here, hopefully. And right now, all i got to do now is just start this nether brick all around this edge. So let's make a start on that now. Probably haven't got enough nether brick. So I'll just place a few down so you get an idea of how it's going to look. And we've got some more back here. Oops. There you go. And all i got to do is oh, I'll replace that again. So let's go down now and show you what it looks like. How's that look? Yep, that looks great. So what I'm going to do is probably get some more of this brick and add it along the top and maybe on the bottom as well so that it's a nice edge all the way around and put glass in the sides. So up top we're going to have the large alvarees, I can never remember what they're called. These are, yeah, alvarees. So the block structure I will probably place in the middle, have all these hives around the edges. And we to do the tree breeding, I've got two ideas. I'll either I was thinking maybe build a another structure by here, similar to this, but not as big, and join it to this, and there will be a little artery underneath to get through. And I might place one on each side of this. So there's a map. If you look, it'll be northeast, south, and west of where I am. And they'll be for the trees. And hopefully we'll have enough range for the bees to go to cross populate the trees. So that's what I've worked on so far. Um I'm gonna make myself a tree elizer now as I managed to find a few crossbred leaves with a grafter. So let's go back home and make one of them now. So we need a oop, tree Eliza. There it is. So copper, glass, redstone, and diamond. Okay, uh, four copper, redstone. Oh, I'm really low on redstone. Just got enough. Now uh, we need the diamond. 
And the other thing was... Glass. Okay, where is my... Oh, there it is. So let's make this now. Um, the glass goes in the middle. Oh, you need a carpenter for this. I nearly forgot. I always forget about that. So let's place it in the carpenter. Remember there. One diamond. Yep, that gives us tree lasers, so if I just place these in now, it should start working. Let's just wait for this now, and grab some of my... I think I put them in here, I think these were the ones. Yeah, they were the ones, so let's go grab some honey from downstairs. As I've managed to get a lot more from my ivories, there they go, i uh, got about 10 of them. And by the time we get back up now, it should have finished. Yeah, there it is. So let's clear this recipe out again. So we got the tree elizer. So let's have a look at this. Supply sapling, private honey for honeydew as or honeydew as catalyst. Okay, so let's put our honey in now, and let's see what we get f from this. So it's jungle height larger. Red spruce faster, so it's similar to the bee Eliza. So I've just got to like plant some of these. What was that? Coca? Ah. What products does this go off? No, and that one doesn't give off anything. Well, we all know jungle trees give off coca. So that's just an example of what you can grow from these jung um, cross breeding them. Well, jungle trees give off cocoa anyway but you could get other varieties um, not sure which ones so let's have a look in the guide now so we've got one of these I'm not sure which one it is box bees items now maybe it isn't in the thing yet forestry So if we scroll down, we should be able to see what types of trees we can get. Ah, there we go. So it looks like we can make cherries, walnuts, chestnuts, and any others? No? Oh, well, we'll come across them when we come along. But yeah, oh, here we are, all the trees. So we've got all these types of trees. There's quite a few in there. What's that? Yeah, so eventually we will get some different types of trees. I'm aiming for the walnut tree as um, squeezing walnuts is a good source of seed oil. It's much better than using wheat seeds as it gives you a better product. So let's, let's have a look at that now. Walnut. So if I, oop. yeah, so there you go. As you can see, it will 0 0.200, and the seeds themselves. If we can find it, uh, there are squeeze it and seeds are 0.020, so walnuts are a much better source. As 
I think it's down below here now, let's have a look. Have we actually gathered any? We're slowly gathering some, but I filled this up. Or I filled this up totally with seeds, and it's only giving me this much seed oil. So if we can get a walnut tree up and running, it'll be a great source of fuel as well. And we might possibly start working on the steam boilers then. That's another better supply of fuel. So uh, let's go back to our Ivo and have a look what else we need to work on. So as you can see I created my path to this building. And you won't be able to see it. I'm gonna place some blocks by here at this level as I want to hide all the pipework as I done in my main house so I'm just gonna do this there you go and have us all the way around the room now let me check the light level in this room if you press F7 it'll come up with this spawn grid this is where all the mobs will spawn so if you place torches in areas you can get rid of them are we all clear? Oh, one more. Okay, let's check upstairs as well. This is getting dark pretty quick. Yeah, so we'll need to light this area up. This is only temporary till I work out another light source. And Oh, we don't want any creepers spawning up here anyway, do we? And one more. There you go. That's safe and sound. So let's get rid of that now. And have we got any more bees going? Yes, we have. Forest drones. So let's place this back in. No, actually. No, I'll just put them back in. So... There you go, and there was another one somewhere, yep. So we're getting back in. And we got four honeycombs. Okay, so it's working well, looking good so far. And I just need to finish this building and then connect all the pipework. So I will come back to that again, so let's have a look. Oh, no, we got creepers. Okay, back in the house. Let's have a look. Another thing I want to work on is planting some trees. So let's go and look for our uh, plants. So we need to plant different types of trees for the cross beating of them. So for now, let's. Actually, let's clear up my... ...thing a bit. And... ...that. So yeah. Let's have a look at what trees we can do. So we got... ...apple oaks. Let's have a look at one of them. I know what they do, but... Let's get the tree laser out. Okay, as I think, you've got to put them for the tree realizer before you can actually get them to work properly. Uh, cocoa and red spruce, uh, which is the one for I got furs, jungle. Uh, that's the one we want, silver birch. So there's the four main types of trees. And if we analyze this as well. Uh, 
Now we're gonna plant them now near my beehive structure. Let's grab some sleep. And this run back to uh, let's get my uh, bow and arrow out. Take care of Mr. Creeper. There's no more around. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, what? So close. Oh, yep. <laughs> Always sneak up on those creepers. There's another one over there. Nope, no more inside. I think we're safe. Alright, so... This isn't growing yet. Oh well. So where are we going to plant these trees? Well, I, I am going to place them on top of the other building, like I said before, but for now... We'll just place them around... The structure. So let's let's go to the back. So I'll say by here. So look how close the beehives are first. So what are the range in these? I don't know. But anyway, let's go down and plant these trees and see what happens. So we'll have one right here, approximately over there. I'm not sure how close they have to be to each other. So we'll, well, I don't know, about four blocks, I say. And one over here, and a red spruce. A flip of that. So let's get rid of this other tree here. That should do it. Right, have we got any bone meal? No. Nope. So we'll let them grow and then we can hopefully get them crossbred. As I said, you need a grafter. The recipe is bronze and two sticks, and what this guarantees you a sapling from the tree. Uh, what will happen is when two trees are close together, one of the leaves will be different from all the rest, and you use that grafter to acquire that type of sapling, and hopefully, you will have something crossbred. And then you just grow that and you'll get the next stage of your crossbreeding on tree. So I'm pretty new at this crossbreeding of trees and bees, but I will get there eventually. So look, more honeycombs. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, uh, one good thing about crossing these bees, I'd say found or cross, I've managed to crossbreed a cultivated drone. So uh, I've just got to somehow answer comments. So I've got to somehow get this. Yep, didn't mean to do that. So somehow I've got to get this to bread up and get a queen out of it. So I've got a cultivated forest with that one. Common meadows. There it is. That's the one I want. So if I breed this one now with a queen, hopefully I'll get a decent uh, queen out of it. Welcome back. Um, I just thought about the design up top now and this is going to be my layout for my hives and so on. So you'll have your uh, small ha smaller apiaries there and the alvaries in the middle 
And all the pipework, as I said before, will go down underneath. I'll work th out how to do that off camera, as I'm not sure what to do yet. So, before I go, let's check on the recipe for one of these alvaries. So, we need scented panels. Uh, beeswax and royal jelly. Hmm. Well, we're nowhere near getting one of these yet. As I royal, we need royal jelly. So for now, we'll just work on the smaller ones until we get our bees bred to such a point that we can get some royal jelly. So yeah, we're looking good. Uh, I'll leave that for now I've as you can see I've also put the edges on the structure let's see if I can find the way down now there it is and there we go if you look I've also put the trims around the building and looking good inside too so yeah that's it for today I'm gonna work on the pipework and how to get this all working together. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode and see you soon.